Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Minute on the Mountain. This is going to be a pretty short video because I am still dealing with a lingering cough. If I talk more than just two or three minutes, it'll send me into a coughing fit. So uh, we'll, we'll get right into it. The first thing that I want to do is a channel shout out and a mail call. I got a, a really cool sticker from Dave Collier Camping. Let me try and give you a close up there of Dave's sticker. So thank you so much, Dave, for shooting that over to me. I'm gonna put a link in the description to his channel. Please check him out when you have some time. He's over in Virginia, and I think you'll really enjoy some of the videos that he puts out. So again, thank you, Dave, so much for the sticker. I'll get that added to my rifle case where I've been putting those other uh, YouTube stickers that folks have sent me, and I sure appreciate you taking a minute to do that. The other thing we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna announce the winners of the Zen Men supplements. I did that uh, review video on their sciatic pain supplement several weeks ago now, and all you had to do to enter that giveaway was comment on that video, and in the comment, you just had to put the word Zen Men. And so I had, I don't know, 15, maybe 20 people, and remember there are three prizes we're giving away from the, for this. The first prize is a bottle of their Monolaurin Complex and then also the PEA supplement for immune health. So let's draw that now. I've got all the names in this bowl. Mix these up a little bit. And here we go. So the first winner is Walleye Bass Outdoors and Cooking. Walleye Bass Outdoors and Cooking. So congratulations, man. You get the Monolorn Complex and the PEA Supplement. Now, to claim this prize, uh, Zen Men said they would just ship everything directly to you. So I just need you guys to email me your physical address, your shipping address, where you want it sent. And my email is minuteonthemountain at gmail.com. So while I bass outdoors and cooking, please email me your address so I can get that out to you. Okay, the next one was also for the Monolorn Complex and then the sciatic uh, nerve pain relief. So two bottles of supplements and let's see who the winner is of the second prize. All right, it's Craig over at Georgia Trapping and Fishing. So Georgia Trapping and Fishing, Craig, you won the bottle of the Monolorn Complex and the Sadic Nerve Pain. And then the last prize was for two bottles of the Monolorn Complex. So let me draw that last winner out now. All right, and that is the Outdoor Catch. The Outdoor Catch. I know I've won a giveaway from him before, and I think he's won a giveaway from me, which would be cool if he has again. So anyway, the Outdoor Catch, you're the third winner. So again, guys, if you can do me a favor, email me your address, minuteonthemountain at gmail.com, and then I'll get that forwarded over to Zen Men, and they'll get those shipped out to you. Thank you for everybody who participated in that giveaway. We're going to have another giveaway coming up when we hit 800 subscribers. Uh, we're in the 780s now, so we'll just keep grinding away, and we'll do another giveaway at 800. All right, we'll wrap up tonight's video with the Minute on the Mountain, and it's going to come to us from Psalm 10. I'm just going to focus on the very beginning of the psalm and the very end of the psalm, but I would encourage you, and you have some time, go back and read the whole thing for yourself. So Psalm 10, verse 1, the psalmist writes, Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? Verse 2, he says, In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. And it, and it goes on throughout the psalm to basically make it sound like, Where's the justice? Uh, the, the, the bad guys are getting away with anything they want to get away with. And I know sometimes it feels that way. Sometimes we wonder, why are you so far off? But trust me, God is still in control. God is still accomplishing his purposes. And I love how the psalmist, you know, after he kind of speaks what's on his heart, comes back to what he knows is true. And this is what he writes at the end of the psalm. Beginning in verse 16, he says, The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from his land. You, Lord, 
you hear the desire of the afflicted. You encourage them and you listen to their cry, defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will, mortals will never again strike terror. So it may seem at times that God is far off, that, that God is no longer in control, but that is never the case. Uh, God is king forever and ever. The only things that happen in this world are things he allows to happen. He's going to weave them together for his purposes. So I hope in some of the, the confusion and, and even just the tumult that we're experiencing right now, that, that you would know that he is still on the throne, that he still reigns, and that Psalm 10 would give you some encouragement. That's the Minute on the Mountain. Thanks so much for coming along. Hope you guys have a great blessed week, and we'll see you the next time we're out on the mountain.